Hello everyone. I hope everyone is watching here today is having a great day. Welcome, welcome back. Happy holidays. In today's video, I tried a few things for the very first time, like uh, working on double XL nails without cutting them down, like writing on snow, like encapsulating such long as nails. Haven't done that ever done that. Okay, with that, let's rush into this, 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 these nails into this video quickly. I use poly gel because I thought there's no way I am spending hours applying acrylic or gel for that matter. I mean, did you see how long these are? It would, it would be my first time using acrylic, I mean, double uh, XL size nails without cutting them short. And if I'm going to be using any other material, I mean, product to apply on here it better be something that's gonna go quick and so um with poly gel i know it's gonna be easy and quick application and it will be a quick filing session too so i used um bling girls new range of poly gels that was a great and easy application these are better than their previous poly gels it worked with me instead of against me if you know what I mean and it didn't even give me any hassles at all with you know especially with the flooding of the cuticle area so yes I didn't forget to apply the sticky bond that you apply when you are about to apply poly gel so that's how it went I started with uh, prepping the nails putting you know filing buffing them and putting the base coat and then the sticky um, sticky bond on the So I started with the pinky, <laughs> my poor pinky. For those of you who may not know or may be wondering, my pinky is weak. Like it's so weak, the poor thing. So I use my ring finger to hold it and give it some, you know, support when I do any application or when I'm filing. So don't mind that or don't wonder what's going on. Uh, so as far as the pinky, right? I didn't speed up the video so much only and it's only the pinky but the rest of the, the hand I, I did speed it up so don't worry about it otherwise we would be here until 2024 <laughs> okay um, uh, just to show you how the application and how the, 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 the poly gel works so I didn't speed it up but obviously the rest I sped it up and yeah and these nails took me about three three to four hours to do the entire set so other see why i said i had to speed it up others would be here forever and um so for now just keep watching the application and enjoy the rest of it um don't worry about my cuticle area being crusty during the, the process of this uh, video that's what poly gel does it, it leaves these it leaves more crusty cuticle areas than i think acrylic and gel and stuff it's just very messy and tacky and sticky don't worry about it just keep watching this application um i hope it won't be too long all right
So the middle finger and the ring finger are supposed to have a thin layer because they are going to be encapsulated. Um, you must have noticed the ring finger when I was doing the ring finger I ended up um, removing quite a lot of poly gel because it slipped my mind and I forgot that I'm supposed to not have a very thick layer and so I removed most of it um, then the middle finger and the ring finger are gonna have a thin la thinner layer and then the application goes back to normal with the index finger and then the thumb you can continue watching
So filing and shaping and buffing went by so very, very quickly, obviously, because it's poly gel. And e-filing for me is more for getting the nail as flat and as straight as I possibly can get them. And I think at this point, I'm, where I'm at the point where I might not be able to do any nails without e-filing them. I better not get too lazy and get too used to it because should something happen to the e-file, uh, I'm going to have to grow muscles on my right hand again <laughs> to start doing it manually. Okay, that's it for now.
right over here i'm applying base coat then i'm gonna go in and add some snowflakes um some snowflakes are just a solid plain color white and some are iridescent so it makes a beautiful color display um if you know what i mean after it's been encapsulated you know and then i also added some gold stars it makes it a lot more beautiful oh yeah so this process i did before curing the base coat right applying it on there and then uh, oh yeah wait i had a dumb moment because <laughs> i realized that i should have done these nails one nail at a time because we're going to be wrapping them with plastic and then i knew and i needed to use my one hand to hold down the plastic on the one finger at a time uh, but then i done gone and do two fingers did two fingers at the same time but then i had to quickly improvise obviously so i grabbed two small plastic bags and then i used uh, these plastic clips to hold them down and i used two two clips per finger because the nails were so long it was tricky and i was sweating worried but it all it was for nothing because they came out perfectly everything was nice and perfect and flat sun everything was the way i wanted it if i was gonna do it one hand at a time so there's something for me i guess i can do two or more <laughs> at a time i was freaking out and well i i thought i had a blonde moment or a dumb no sorry my bad not blown moment, a dumb moment but clearly it came out better than i expected so it was a perfect learning lesson you know those perfect um, mistakes they make in history and it ends up turning out to be something a great invention all right um, then I go in and I encapsulate nice I encapsulated with this clear pink and it was at this moment that I decided I need to vent I need to vent because there's something weird happening i realized that i'm doing a lot of pink nails uh, i'm i have a lot of pink sets that i've done and i just don't like pink i am so sorry to people who love pink i just don't like pink i don't like pink i want to say i hate it but it <laughs> it's weird most of my nails that I've done the sets that I've done most most of them that are pink are my favorite ones but I still don't like pink and I don't know why I accept it I tolerate it but I just cannot like it I can't bring myself to like it since I was a teenager I when you know when everyone is like oh my favorite color is this and my favorite color I could not like pink I just and speaking of colors that I cannot like and, and it's colors that people love, another one to add, purple. I don't like purple. I am so sorry also to the purple people. I can't like pink. I can't like purple. I don't know why. It's something I, I never investigated. I never tried to figure out. They just don't gel with my spirit. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's funny that my top three nails that I've ever done pink each time it's pink I don't have like orange or yellow and orange is my favorite color but none of the top three is <laughs> that's my favorite of the nails that I've done is actually it's weird it's very weird I don't know I don't think anybody can explain it if you just don't like a color you just don't like it I think maybe there's an explanation but yeah that's that's the explanation for me okay um i encapsulated i'm buffing i'm shaping them and i'm gonna be going in and be, i'll be doing the nail art and i will be starting with the pinky i use the hot pink gel it has glitter in it and a plain white gel
So for this finger, because I will be writing out snow, I realized that um, the snow would need a darker background for writing on the snow. So I used the hot pink uh, gel again so that when I write, the background will show as to what was written on the white snow. I am about to do a snowman but I don't have the um, color 3d gels or the sculpt the color sculpting gels I only have the clear so I decided to do the shapes of the snowman and then I'll draw him on the clear background um, I don't think I would have been able to draw him free-handed so <laughs> I, uh, I this was the best way for me to be able to to do the snowman and luckily I went for the 3d version version of it <laughs> so I started with the head um, rolled up the thing into a ball placed it on the head and I'm sure you guys will not be able to see any of the things that I'm doing right here because it's so clear but you get it I hope you get it but i started with the head and then i went with the body and and then i went in and did the woolen hat and the scarf and then upon editing this video i realized that i just should have painted the entire snowman white instead of drawing the face first and then cure and then i did then i painted the body and then I cured and then I painted the scarf and the head and then cured. you know if but now I learned that paint everything if you don't have a, a color just paint the whole background plain white and then you go in with the different colors that you, you'll understand what I'm talking about when you see what I'm doing right here right now then um, I painted the, 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 the his face his body and the scarf and the hat and then i went in and did the buttons his buttons his eyes his nose and his mouth enjoy the next few minutes
there's that little cute nose that is the finishing touches on this snowman and then i go in and i add in a few stickers here and there snow christmas stickers on the other nails that i encapsulated and that's it for this set um i love i love 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 these nails despite <laughs> but you guys you can tell me what you think about these nails do you love them as much as i love them and i hope you learned something from here and maybe you can give me advice if there is anything that i could have done differently but i i think i'm very happy and satisfied with what with the work that i did over here anyway thank you guys for watching and don't forget to click on the like button if you loved these nails and may you have all your wishes come true this festive season and happy holidays to each and every one of you and your family i hope you take care of each other fun fact the human body contains gold all right everyone thank you very much goodbye take care